Hey everybody, welcome to the Rangers of Shadow Deep Adventure. We're back with part three of Across the Waste. Spencer and Evan are back uh, with their Rangers as we investigate a collapsed tower on our way to the entrance to the Shadow Deep. Uh, and we have to find out what horrors lurk inside. So we'll show our Rangers, we'll show you the table, and we'll get this underway. We're right, set up for the Sand Tower. Uh, with the village of Battelle now several days behind us, the long, punishing journey through the waste is taking its toll on the party. Every day you cover a little less ground than the day before, and the number of uh, lengths of rest breaks increases. Still, you push on, driven by your duty, in the hope that you might find a different way uh, or make a difference in this desperate war. As you struggle to gasp your way to the top of another sand dune, you pause in confusion. In the distance, something large and black points to the sky like a tower, but standing at an uneasy angle. According to the maps of your guide, there shouldn't be anything in this part of the waste. You move closer and it becomes clear that it is, in fact, an ancient stone tower, battered and broken. Although there's been no wind for some time, you can see small clumps of sand spilling and dripping from the stones. Halting within a few dozen yards of the tower, the party gathers around and discusses the situation. Seemingly, this has nothing to do with your journey, but it's likely better avoided. However, just as you're about to go around, you hear a desperate scream from somewhere high up in the tower, and then there's shouts with a very noticeable Laurentian accent. Played on a 2.5 uh, foot table, which is divided into three distinct sections. You can see level one, two, and three here. Essentially, the tower is leaning at about a 60 degree angle. Along with the ground floor level one, there's two partial floors, levels two and three, projecting out of the walls. Uh, level one is 2.5 wide and 20 across. Both level two and level three are 2.5 wide and eight inches across. So basically eight inch sections up at the top here. Place a door to mark the player's entry point, which is right down here um, at level one. Uh, in the corners of level one, there's going to be a ladder going to level two. So up here and a point of interest on this side uh, with sand husks and a sand um, blade in the middle. Then there's a bunch of dead body parts, you can see here, all chopped up with four sand flies and a point of interest. A point of interest at the top of the ladder and another ladder on this side. At the very top of level three, there's a crystal, a bound captive, a shadow knight, and two skeleton knights, and then two more sand flies or random bugs, uh, vermin up at the top. Now you cannot draw a line of sight to the different levels from the lower levels. Um, you can make a climb test at TN12 to climb the walls if you want. But you take two points of damage to end your activation if you fail. If you have a grappling hook though, you get a bonus. My time in the sun is now. Now before the scenario begins, each figure must make a survival roll with a TN of 20. And each figure can add five for each pack camel still with the party. We have both our camels. And then we got, we've got Tom and Jerry. Any figure that fails gains another level of hunger and thirst. Now remember, it was only our rangers that didn't have a level of hunger and thirst. And then the uh, two minders, basically, the um, uh, royal uh, cartographer and the camel driver. The camels have to be left outdoors and we have to leave a heroic figure to mind them. So we're gonna leave, obviously, the camel driver uh, out to mind them. They don't take part in the game. They get one progression point. Not that it matters because he's a, a, a like a auxiliary companion anyway, so he doesn't have to learn any skills. And we'll just have the navigator come in with us, and that way they don't die, and we can have them for the final scenario. Uh, finally, um, before beginning of the game, select one member of the party that isn't looking after a camel to make a stealth roll at TN16. If it's passed, uh, nothing happens. If it's failed, move all the sand husks and sand blades in level one directly six inches towards the doorway. I'm stealth pretty good. Uh, two. For all of our survival rolls, my buy here is survival plus three, and we get plus ten because the two camels are still alive, so thirteen. So I gotta roll seven. I'm good. Uh, then we got Snowy Redbeard. He's already hungry, but I'll clear this, or I'll gain an additional level, I guess, if I fail. Uh, he is plus ten, so he needs a ten plus. Gets it, he's good. And then Hen Gear. Also on a 10. No, he's gonna be level two, so he's minus four to his health. He's health six right now. Six health points left. Uh, rolling for the navigator. She's fine, she's well fed. Uh, the camels pass automatically and so actually does the camel driver. All right, for our other ranger, Spencer, what are you rolling? Uh, so I'm going to be rolling uh, at seven for survival. Plus so 10, I... so three plus. Yeah, we're good. Rocks it. And then the Templar, just looking for a straight up 10 up. He's good. But he's still already hungry from previous game. I don't think you lose your levels. You just gain another level of hunger if you fail. Yeah. All right, going for uh, Runewood. He has uh, survival two, so I need eight or up. Nice. Nine, good. Uh, Gorbin needs a straight ten. Good. And the herbalist, good old Voltan, Five. is Oof, double so he's hungry. minus double hungry now. He's minus four. The point for this scenario is the nearest hero. It ends when we clear all the monsters out of the room, and we get a bonus 20 XP if we do. 
job. Up All right, so I'm coming right at the door. You're going to come over here and try and fight uh, this with your gloves of climbing to just go up the wall later. Absolutely. And then where's big boy going? Uh, yeah, because these are stairs that we can climb yeah, up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just go up the ladder. It's all yeah, open. So he's going to go there. And... Can I go in front? Sure. All right. Who cares? You do you. Who's the point man's making the stealth roll? I'm stealth plus two. Uh, I'm stealth zero. Uh, you have the highest stealth then. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, and the roll is, I think, a 14? 16. Fantastic. So I need to roll a 14. Cranked it. And then one of us can make a tracking roll on a 12. And if we do... Sorry, if, uh, it's a 16, and if we do, every hero can move three inches. I got a six. All right, so roll that, uh, you need to roll 16 as well, so 10 plus. Yes, ever gets to move three. Go ahead and move you guys three before the game starts. All righty. Uh... Just, just, just go, and well, he'll snap to you. Yeah, awesome. Boop. Urban, move three. That looks about three. Cool. Okay, uh, I'm going to follow you with hen gear. And I guess you guys have this covered, so I'll follow you over here as well. And the boss is just going to go over to the wall, because he's going to use his grappling hook. He desperately wants to use it. All right, Severick is going to go this way to try and get that point of interest. And uh, the Templar is going to choose the better part of Valor and stand behind the ogre. Stand behind the ogre, because he doesn't have a weapon or armor. <laughs> really, really picked on that guy last game. All right, so it is a ranger phase of turn one. Who wants to take point? Uh, I can take point, because I'm already in combat. Make a stab? Yes, sir. Your fight four, uh, and then... Plus the two is uh, up to a total six plus. And the sand husk is oh, three. only 11. Okay, mm, well, you, you did it, passes. but he takes no damage. He's yeah. armor 12. Do you want to drive him back? Because uh, then you can move. Th he gets the free uh, sand throw, right? So I'm not going to... Nope, that's the zombies. Oh, They're over these guys. Yeah, may as well. Why not? Well, then, over to you, Spencer. Yeah, uh, we're just going to trundle on over... On six. Six... Uh, and then... You know, Hadouken him? Uh, I think I am just going to keep walking towards him, honestly. Alright, he'll snap in. I'm gonna cast armor, and then move, because I'm the guy that remembers to do that. <laughs> I got my armor up. It's my armor, although it's only 11 now, because it's half melted from fighting the Dijin. It goes to 13 from my armor spell. Okay, uh, so close the monsters first, this one's engaging you. Absolutely. I'll Fight plus four. Fight plus five. Uh, that's plus just three. a zombie, isn't it? Tw uh, yeah, that's plus two, so it's 20. Uh, yep, don't beat that, so that'll be seven. Take or nine. Eat, nine. Nine. Eat a bunch of damage. <laughs> this <laughs> one's coming <laughs> to fight you, Evan. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to cast a spell. No. You cast a spell? <laughs> he's, uh, no, I, uh, he's going to attack the herbalist because he has less health. Makes so, sense. Uh, herbalist now has a three fight then? Yeah. Three goes to, uh, yeah. 20. 20 to, that's 18. a sand husk, so 19. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So sand blade rather, so you hit him, uh, mm -hmm. so he'll take eight halves to four, so he has eight left. I'm back. May as well. Give you movement for later, yep. Uh, all right, and then it's just the sand flies, because they are the only ones against, oh, sorry, and this guy over yeah. here. Target points nearest hero, so he's going to come around the corner. Nine. Walk and then uh, And then the sand flies all come piling down. I think they go six. Uh, it's just the ones at the top. Oh, just the ones at the top. Okay, got it. They go towards the corpses, so they'll go nine. Uh, nearest hero, actually. Let's go down here. Zzz. Event phase for round one. Oh, no, sorry. Companions. What am I talking about? Companions still do things. Uh, I will help you punch. Right? Or do I walk? I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk with hang gear because there's a point of... Oh, there's no point of interest over there. What am I doing? Mm, they're all going to get eaten by bugs if I don't. So I'm just going to go walk and hope that you can handle this. I'm going to go four, five, six... And then three would be up here. And so we'll Snorri. Help Gorbin. Tell him going to go fight. You do get plus two. Yeah, I think he's just going to let Gorbin hit because he's minus two fight and minus two damage right now since he Fair. doesn't have All a right. sword. So yeah, then Gorbin would then have a plus five. With a big smash. Oof, it's only a 13. Uh, that's 20. a 20. Yikes. Take eight. All right, so I think that's it for companions except for your herbalist uh yeah the herbalist he's just gonna walk, walk in and not fight he's not yeah he's not gonna fight okay now it's event phase we flip a three of diamonds I got the castle shakes there's uh, a castle quake all heroes on levels two and three must make a move roll uh which no oh actually oh me uh, move roll target number 14. Ooh, they so add their acrobatic skill to this roll i never have that so eight passed and then snorri Oh, potato. It was a pass, though. 
Still pass. Uh, yeah, any figure that fails is moved three inches toward the edge uh, of the level below. If it moves off the edge, it falls, takes four points of damage. No, I've, I'm lucky I lived. Oh. Two. All right, Ranger phase. Go uh, first. So he's going to jump over here, right against the wall. And again, with his fight of uh, plus six. Six currently. now, yep. Ooh, 19. 20. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news. Oh, sorry, 21. So. Oh, man. <laughs> Did you just die? How? No, he's at, well, he's at full health now. Okay. Um, for all 16 chance. to beat him, yeah. Oh, I know, I have higher chances of getting lower than what I rolled yeah. than higher. So I'm just going to take that 9 to okay. it safe for now. Sweet. Uh, Spence, you want to fight the zombie? Yeah, I mean, it seems to be going so I'm going to have Evan first. roll because I'm apparently the worst monster roll ever. There, there you go. go. There you hey, go. That's what so you want to see. 25 to his 12. He takes 11. He's dead. Yeah. Walk up and scope that later. There's not a clue marker, so there's no investigation roll required. A, up against the corner. What do we got? So, uh, we got one stone in the wall is carved with a base relief map. It's badly faded, but you think you recognize the waste in the tower marked upon it. Make a navigation roll, target number 8, or ancient lore roll, target number 8. Uh, my ancient lore is 6. My... It's a 2 plus. Navigation's five, yeah, so. We're good. Yay! Uh, if successful, gain plus ten experience points. Nice! This is apparently a map of the ancient Shava Empire, a mythical, nearly forgotten place. There are many in the kingdom that would be interested in this map, especially the location of the Empire's capital city. Amazing. It's just me! Uh, what do I want to do? I have so many, so many choices. I think I'm going to heal Evan, because I'm a nice guy, for six. His legs aren't broke immediately. And then I'm going to use my grappling hook! To climb the wall with a 16. Didn't even need it. I just parkour up. Parkour, parkour. Me, vermin. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my ranger all done. So we're on to the monster phase. So I think one at a time, I'm going to fight a thousand vermin. Oh, no, sorry. It starts with this one, doesn't it? Uh, it attacks the lowest health, which I think is actually your ogre. I'm pretty sure it's Gorgon. Because he, he took a... like six. Yeah. 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 So he's still fight five now. And it's fight plus two. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. 17. Twenty-eight damage. Uh, Did Gorbage yeah. just get snacked on? Yeah, Gorbage just got messed got up. Got dunked on by a zombie. Uh, oh, poor Gorbin, you've had such a rough time in the ways. You're a you're a cold weather creature. You're not a warm weather creature. This place has been rough for you. Um, then I start fighting sand flies by the thousand. So the first one, disease target number eight. So I am fight plus five to its fight plus one. Uh, okay, I take uh, that's a fifteen. I take two because my armor spell. Uh, Please, uh, what's the it was target survival? Uh, Plus four. It's a nine. I'm good. Okay. Next one, again. Luckily, they don't get gang bonuses because they're creatures. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what you have, but I don't know if uh, twenty five. It, it is armor eight and five health. So it I is, think I think you smushed it. It suffers existence failure. The next one, again. Again! Uh, I actually beat it. Yeah, so I'll just drive it. I'll drive it back. You actually even managed. Oh no, it's armor 8. It's armor 8? So I got an 8, 9, 10 because I have uh, a heavy weapon. So you do 2 damage. How much is that left? I think it has 3. Yeah, 3. 3 left. Next one! Incredible. Let us fight! I beat it with a 3. Uh, potato. I think I. Uh, 9, 10, it. 11. So. 5 damage? To... It's armor 6 or 8? Yeah. Uh, eight. Eight. Um, I just, uh, no, I want to save my reroll. Uh, so eight's going to be three damage, so it's got three left as well. Left this time, that's right. But then this one just comes zipping towards me, doesn't quite make it. And this one comes and fights my dude. But I want a one-inch base, so I'm going to snap. Uh, fighting at plus, uh, it'll attack the lowest health, which is neither of them. They're both at, actually, sorry, it would be him. So he's plus two, goes to plus four. Twenty-two. Get wrecked, bug. That's all the creatures, because these ones can't see. It was only the flies that could. Uh, so we're on to... Oh, no, and this one. He hasn't gone yet. Correct. And he attacks your herbalist. Yes. Thank you. Uh, you're plus four? Plus, plus three, currently. Plus three. 20. Nice. Ooh, that's good. So uh, that's going to be eight halves to four. So it has four left. And then it's Thanks. companions. So I'm going to send Hangir to here. And we're gonna look at whatever that is. B. 
The skulls in this pile look remarkably fresh. Make either a perception roll, target number 10, or a read runes roll, target number 10, a successful C note 769. Well, I'm read runes 5 plus. <sighs> Where's Tangier? You got nothing. Uh, then we're gonna go 9 and just go snap over to this guy and be like, stop fighting my boss. Uh, this guy. Yeah, and then uh, the herbalizer. I mean, we have no choice but to punch the zombie <laughs> very poorly. <laughs> the super zombie? Yeah. All right. It rolls a... Better than me. Better than you, yeah. That's, that's 15 a, that's to 14. 15, which means you're naked, so you take four damage. Yeah. So you have a roll for this <laughs> And then your herbalizer. <laughs> yeah, you roll for that one. Don't, don't let me roll any more monster dice, because I'm bad at it. Oh, jeez, plus three is only nine. Two, and 14. You know, he has armor 14. 11, so, so that's three damage. three damage. Everything's perfect. We haven't even gotten to the boss level yet. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think that's round event. Dian, 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 four diamonds. Roll randomly between the two ladders. This ladder suddenly breaks. Remove it from the table. Ooh. Any figure on the ladder must make an acrobatics roll, target number 10, or take right. two damage. So you can roll okay. 1 to 10, 11 plus. All right, come on. No, That's no! So we have to climb. Good thing I brought my rope. Proud of my, my, my bat rope. It makes me so happy. Um, and then it's top of three. Right. Let's Hulk smash. I'm going to bang around these guys. So I'm fight plus five. Let's give them the boots. Nine. It's a Ten, eleven. Nine. Uh, it's armor five? It's uh, armor eight. Armor eight, eleven, so it takes three. It's got two left. I'm hitting as hard as I can here, but I can't smash them all. Uh, then this guy? Yeah. Do a climb uh, check? Yeah, we'll activate our gloves of climbing, which I need to... To get like a plus up. five to your climb, or plus ten to your climb roll or something like that, I think. No. Just roll and see what matters. It didn't matter. Yeah. So, <laughs> hop up and, I don't know, go chill by a bucket? Would you buy a bucket? Or move towards it anyways. Yeah, I'm in cover behind this bucket. Just, we'll hang out. Well, that was your first move and that was your second move. So you get heroic scale, but I think that's it. Yeah, I don't have anything else I super want to do. Uh, I'll just move another three towards the uh, center. Okay. That's seven o'clock. Alrighty. Um, I can attack and then cast a spell afterwards. Shh, no, they're both actions. Right. So uh, you can attack and climb. Yep. Hoping I can. I'm not gonna roll that. One of my spells this Spencer, time. you roll it. Okay, I gotta get to it. Okay. Plus six uh, is 18. There you go. 18 is gonna be six damage, have to three. So one left. A day late. Um, that's everybody. So start with the one in combat. It fights. It's gonna fight the herbalist. The herbalist again, the herbalizer. Three, come on. Oh my it. god. <laughs> 19. <laughs> he just gets deleted. <laughs> this is, why did we go into this scary murderer this is tower? Terrible. We made bad choices. We're yeah. bad rangers. Oh. Not a mission critical thing that we were doing here. All right, zombie yeah. time. Evan, Evan roll you with the zombie. Revenge. That's right. Oh, man, I lost so kill, much kill, kill, his, kill his Templar. Uh, yup. <laughs> yup. That's a 20. I, I didn't mean it like that, I swear. I mean, <laughs> I didn't mean I mean, it. I actually wanted to. Why are you guys actively working against us? All right, uh, time to get fed a bunch of a bunch of bugs. Bug the first. Fight me. Plus five. And die. And it's got two health left, so it's dead. Um, the next one into me. Nah, unhurt. Die. <laughs> the third one into me. Uh, that's a 515. Nope. That's a 17. Do I reroll it? If I reroll it to 12 plus, I'm doing it. Oh, damn it. So 17 to my armor, 13. I take four points of damage. Fight Snorri. He's plus three. Uh, it wins 20. with a 20. So he takes eight. He only, ha oh, he only has two left. Bad. Well, that seems like the creatures, because these ones stay up top until we climb up that wall. Uh, and this is gone, and so what companions. We have left. Yep, a few companions remain. I'm gonna send Hangir to go fight this bug, so we can gang up with Snorri. We're gonna fight with Hangir actually, because if we gang up with Snorri, Snorri might die. Uh, okay, so that's a plus four is a nine. To sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, he's only armor ten, so he's gonna take six damage and have two left as well. Everybody's got two health left. Fantastic. Well, Snorri fights now, at plus five. God damn it, Snorri, good job. He'll move with his second skill over to this. Be like, what's happening here? What's that? Point of interest, 588. 
This is a fresh pile of corpses. Sure is. If the figure investigating is Laurentian, it immediately recognizes them as being Laurentians. This figure gains plus one fight, but minus two will for the rest of the scenario. If anyone else investigates, they must make a perception roll, target number five. If the corpses are recognized, gain four experience. They are. That looks like the end of the companion phase. So event, the king. A stone falls from the ceiling. No! <laughs> Select a random figure, <laughs> or creature, and make oh a God. plus two shooting attack against it, doing <laughs> One, plus two, two damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of them? So we roll d12 and reroll twelves? Left to right. Uh, Rerolling twelves. Six. One, two, three, four, four. Five, six, I think it's this. So plus two fight, or plus two shoot rather against it's plus one. This is dead. Job, Brock! <laughs> um, so that's the event phase. We're on to a new ranger phase. Definitely falling. So I'm going to use my heroic ability to recall heal, and then I'm gonna hustle and hustle again up to the edge of this wall. It'll be done. Eleven? All right, we're swinging with a, with a plus four. <laughs> it's got fight. one hit point left. You good? Yeah. Oh. Smash it. <laughs> yes. I just heard Spencer was real. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Spencer thought you were dead for sure. He had no faith in you. He has a climb of two, so he's not gonna climb. Do it. So you take two, two damage? damage? Oh my god. You fight a zombie. This is like the end of the zombie movie where you just like, you're almost getting away. Everyone wants you to get away. Wait for us? You gonna heal somebody? What are you doing here? Uh, I, wish, this one I out. wish I had taken heal. I figured, oh, you know, like, I'll, I'll be different. I won't take heal. That's fair. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just walk to the base of the But like wall. far? Yeah. yeah. Smart. Because I think my play fireball. Get covering fire? <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, companions, these guys are just gonna dirtle over here because they will both die if they fail climbing tests. So we're just gonna walk to the edge and be ready for later. I made a climbing test. I wasn't actually using my rope, I just realized. The rope is the one where you set it up automatically, and the grappling hook lets you do it from the bottom of a location versus doing it from the top of a location. So conveniently, Although I climb, which means that Evan is like trapped down here by himself with the super murder zombie. Um, the grappling hook is left so that I can actually just make a path to the top here with my sweet, sweet grappling hook. Uh, all right, so new turn ranger phase. Do I do that? Do I set the grappling hook? I think I set the grappling hook as an action. Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna do it yet. Right about this guy? Okay, he comes and fights you. Yep. Last turn. Not to like try to kill myself, but you know, gotta. Fair enough. Gotta, gotta make the monsters go, right? Uh, you got some damage. That's, that's a 18. 18. So he's gonna take. Six? Six. And he'll have, I think, four left, because I think they have. I think ten. it's six. I think they have. 12, 12 health. Okay, yeah. Do you wanna drive him back? Yep. So event for turn four the Six of Diamonds. Which would be, select a random hero, and that figure is struck by visions of horror, and <laughs> we'll roll target number 12. So there's five of us, so D10 it. D10, uh, one to two going left. Or right, sorry. Ten. Z you. I feel like that's me. That's yeah. you. So will roll. Target Twelve. number. Twelve. My will is plus six, because I am Laurentian. That's right. So you need to roll six. No. <gasps> so what do you got? Uh, <laughs> receive no actions the next time it activates. No! I'll use my was... hand of fate on that Do one. it, okay. Six plus. No, nope, still <laughs> <fair>. <laughs> Oh, terribly wrong. All right. Um, so it's back to Ranger Face. You've got a zombie. You can't quite shake. It's killed most of the party. Uh, I'm over here. I think I'm going to go first. I'm just going to cast Heal on Snorri, take him up to eight. It's my rope as my move action, but I'm not going to climb it because my grappling hit lets me do it from the bottom. Throw your Hadouken again. Oh, fuck. 11? Two. Uh, no, it's, only, uh, it's only a 10. It's only a 10. Yeah, because I hate so it. Hand of fate. You know you'll win, probably. There you go. Blast nice. him. So anyway, I duck. Climb. Yes. yes. He's up. All right, we've done it. We've cleared the two lower levels. Just the boss fight with our crippled remains, and you get no actions. Yeah. So another event. Nine. I want to cite anybody? I'm not activating until we can all go up at the same time. Yeah, and nine <laughs> is. Ooh, the players may select one enemy figure on level two or three. Uh, the floor collapses underneath it. Move it down to the next level, and it takes four points of damage. I think we do a knight, because then we're only fighting two of them. Yeah. yeah. So we move it down to the lower level, so we can move it over to here. Bam. And it takes four points of damage. We only have one. They're armor 13, but he just dies. So he just collapses underneath him. I love it. Climb up. You can climb up first, yeah, if you want to throw your fireball. Yeah. Climb uh, roll. I'm going to add my gloves of climbing again. Can you do it more than once per game? 
Uh, it's just a charge. I just choose oh, before I... Uh, Up we go. Before. So that was your move and action? Then, yeah, we're going to fireball Do it. two enemies, and we're going to enhance power it. Okay. So using your crystal for focusing. Yeah. And big guns, no whammy. That's a 20. So 20 against two. Uh, that would have been the Shadow Knight. Sure. So the Shadow Knight is right armor... I didn't specify, so we'll at least random. One to ten. Sure, yeah. one to ten Shadow Knight. It's a Shadow Knight. What do you guess? He's plus four. If he rolls a 22, he might oh, fail. Oh, yeah, his fight against it. No. So that's going to be... He's armor pretty good. So. 28 total. Uh, so he's immune to non-magic, but that was magic. And he's armor 12, so 16 points of damage. He has 14 health. He gets vaporized. And then you get to roll against the other knight. Yep. Uh, pretty bad. He probably lives. That's 12. I don't think I can damage him. Plus 9? Hit. He's armor 13. Yeah, so not Okay. Yeah. Good, because we actually want to rescue the maiden. So maybe we do that now. I'm going to walk up here and I'm going to halt undead. <laughs> so I'm going to go up my rope. I'm going to halt undead so that I don't... Uh, it's just a heroic action. Yeah. So TN20. Make a will roll for that will zero skeleton. Nope. 14, nope. Uh, so he doesn't get an action this turn, and then my second move, I'm just going to go investigate this point of interest. Touch the crystal, and we also needed to go investigate the last point of interest, and now we can. Crystal's D, she's, she's actually supposed to be over here. That's fine. So, Hadouken, uh, I find the crystal then. Yes. And what does that do? One of these guys will go rescue the pointy. Yeah, okay. Crystal is like a standing stone, and it is a wonder how it got up here. As you look closer, you almost see shadowy figures moving in its depths. If you would like to look deeper, make a will roll, target number 14. If you fail, take three points of damage. If you succeed, read note 564. Well, I am will plus seven. I pass. So, 564. As you look deep into the crystal, you get a sudden vision of a large hole in the desert with a crane in place above it. Oh. There is an ancient building nearby and gnolls moving all around. It is clear that this must be the hole for which you are searching. Gain eight experience. Sick. Uh, then you get to go, Evan, but I think all you're really doing is... Dirtling, <laughs> if you go yeah, nine. You so I'm gonna go. Do the, either of them need to be healed? Oh, yeah, they both need to be healed. You I'll, uh, could. I'll heal this one for. Go for uh, it. Was it six? Yeah, yeah so six. he'll be at eight as well. And then we're gonna go up uh, three and three, because we're just walking, because it's a, um, a rope. And then we'll go three again and go touch the point of interest. Be like, what's up, maiden? She's E, yep, nine or two. A young woman with her hands and feet tied. You may cut her free as an action. Treat the young woman as a companion for the rest of the scenario using the statistics of recruit, although she is currently suffering minus four health and is unarmed. Any figure may give her a weapon that is carrying as a free action. If this young woman is still alive at the end of the scenario, read note 175. Last but not least, the last of the companions. Snorri's just going to go engage the skeleton. It doesn't get an action this turn anyway, because I've halted it. And it's just the event for round five, the Black Ace! Ooh, in the camels, a skeleton attacks that figure. Oh no! Run a fight to, to the death between that hero and the skeleton. If the hero wins, he gains one progression point. If he loses, any camels he was watching are reduced to zero health. No! All right, so this is it. So he's got to <laughs> fight to the death. So he is fight plus two, because he's our, our uh, camel driver. Oh god, so oh, wow. he takes... That's 22, mm -hmm. but then minus one damage. From it's a damage. skeleton, so it's only plus one. So 21, minus one is 20, and he's not hungry. So he's armor what? Three health left, because he's armor 11 and health 12. So last fight, kills him. He's only got one health. So that's going to be a 17 to his armor 10. So he kills the skeleton. We got one extra skeleton kill, and the camels have been defended, but almost at the cost of his life. <laughs> Turn seven, I'm going to go crump this skeleton knight. Plus seven. We're going big. Yeah, die. He's got one health. I rolled a 25. Companion phase, we un, un, uncut or unloosen the lady, and that means that she is now uh, with us for the scenario. And we've cleared all the monsters, so we get to read her paragraph, and that's the end of the scenario. 75 for the captive. Yeah, so the young woman's name is Yara. She is a Laurentian who lived in the capital city at the time the Shadow Deep destroyed her country. Her memories from that point on are sketchy, but she is certain that there were many other survivors as she remembers being held in large cages with them. She doesn't know how she got to this tower or why she's here. Any player may recruit Yara if it has open space and recruitment points available. If <laughs> so, <laughs> use all of the stats of a recruit, except that she has plus two stealth, 
Ancient Lore plus two, and three progression points. You may be re Yara may be recruited after Scenario 3 or Scenario 4. Oh, nice. So if she she's sticks not around. not recruited, she plays no part in Scenario 4. After Scenario 4, if Pabram is still alive, she may return to Alador with them and the players gain 10 experience points. Otherwise, she fades into the background of the story and plays no further part. Nice. 78 experience. For that, I got 8 bonus experience. Sorry, 12 bonus experience. So I got 90 extra experience. It means I level. 10 extra recruitment points for that because I went to level 11. And then let's see. Actually, we all did. And let's see what you did for your naughty rolls. So rolling for your ogre. That's Ooh. a blasting injury. And herbalist. Uh, oh, I think that's uh, less injury. health, yeah. So your equipment, or non-standard equipment for the herbalist, but they didn't have any, and then it's just your lasting injury for your ogre. What do you get? 29. Is it minus one shoot? All fight rolls, uh, whenever it's the target of a shooting attack. You hit with shooting, and if you do another one, you're dead. Blar, you're naked, yeah. arm weaponless, no armor uh, exemplar. It's fine. fine. Uh, yeah, our royal navigator, or our cartographer, is fine. she's fine. So there we go with the tower complete, although we took some, some pretty sketchy casualties. We almost lost all our camels. We're down to the final mission, the part four of Across the Wastes, where we find a deep, dark hole and try and take it to the Shadow Deep. So we'll see you without one in two weeks. Big thanks for uh, watching this one and the previous ones as well. Till next time on Ash. Have a good day. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.